In this video, let's talk about full page components in Livewire. Quite often I see that people structure Livewire components as part of their Laravel application. And that's totally fine. So example, this table is Livewire component and everything else is Laravel. So Laravel menu, Laravel breeze the starter kit and inside here you load Livewire. This is how typical people would do that. And I'm actually a big fan of that because Livewire, in my opinion, is for small dynamic elements on the page. But it is possible to have full page components. So I want to show you a demo project that we're working on at the moment and soon it will be released on Gumroad for sale. So I will not publish the repo in this video, but it's a work in progress with the structure of full page components. So we have the components of categories list, products list, and then there will be orders list. We're working on that at the moment. And let's take a look at routes web file. And the goal of that structure is to totally not have any Laravel controllers, just live wire components, which will have all the logic inside. So it's based on Laravel breeze. So routes for auth do have controllers, but categories, orders and products, all of those are actually live wire components. So if we click here, as you can see, categories list is not a Laravel controller. So it has render method, everything like a typical live wire component would have. And in the routes, all we need to do is to route get to that live wire component without specifying any method, but we can also assign the name like you would do in a typical Laravel route. So that's how it works. Now, how does it render the blade? In the categories list, you render the blade as you would do categories list blade. As in any live wire component, you do have to have root component of div or whatever. And then inside you do whatever you want for this particular live wire component the table. So this table is live wire component. Where does it get all the header from? By default, if you use full page component, it kind of mimics the behavior of extends the main layout. And that main layout by default is resources, views, layouts, app, blade, which is coincidentally or not in Laravel breeze, a default Laravel blade layout. So resources, views, layouts, app, blade comes by default with Laravel breeze. So I don't need to configure anything. I just need to proceed with blade components as per Laravel breeze. So that slot becomes in the categories list blade, the live wire component content. But if you do want to make that configurable and extend another blade file, for example, let's rename file safe as to, for example, main blade. And then you would want to extend the main, for example, let's change something in the body, for example, add hello somewhere. So we would be sure that we're using the main blade and by default, currently if we refresh, we don't see that hello, but we can publish the config of Livewire. You may have done that during the installation of Livewire. If you haven't, you can publish the config like this. And then in the config Livewire file, we have, if we scroll down, view path, layout. Here's the default value, layouts app. If we change that to layouts main and we refresh our page, we we'll refresh and we see hello in the corner. So that's how you can customize the main layout and then proceed with having all the pages as live wire components without Laravel controllers. If we take a look at, for example, network tab in the browser. So what requests are happening actually, if we refresh the categories, then it reloads the full page. If we click on orders or products, it also reloads the full page like it would be a Laravel controller, but as a proof that it's a live wire component inside, if we click some dynamic element, only the categories list component is being called. So only one request to the server. So you can create your full project as kind of live wire first. I'm not sure if I'm personally a big fan of that. I still believe that live wire is mostly suitable for components here and there dynamically on the page, but I just wanted to showcase that possibility to you. 